So this is radar indicated. There is no hail associated with it. So it is wind and the possibility, of course, of producing a tornado. Again, this was located eight miles east of Winnemac, moving northeast at 25 miles an hour. So that is the cell right now. As we zoom out just a bit, I'm gonna go ahead back over to our velocity. Remember velocity, that tells us the wind speeds and direction. It is red and green. One goes toward the radar, one goes away from the radar. And whenever we see those two next to each other, that's when we know that we could see some rotation. Wow, there is some very strong winds associated with this. The blue, whenever we have blue, those are wind speeds. Well, there it is. That's 57 miles per hour radar indicated. I do know some of our settings that we have put on our radar alone that this should actually be flagging about 70 mile per hour winds. So very strong winds associated with this. Uh, I am sure that we are going to have some damage reports coming out of here with these winds. So yes, the, that part right there uh, where you're seeing the winds flagged just east of 17, that would be my concern of um, seeing some pretty pretty big damage we could have after this one moves through. Even if it's not in a rotating motion, it would be because of how strong these winds are and how saturated everything is. So this is just a better look again along 17. That's where we had those strong winds, a very strong storm coming through. Uh, and then moving, of course, northeast at 20 mi 25 miles an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our latest storm track on it now that I have a better handle as to where those gusty winds really were. So here it is, storm track right here. There are sirens going off in Rochester. Please again, listen to those sirens. So yes, we are seeing Bourbon at 128, Atwood at 138, uh, Old Tip Town at 120. To kind of give you perspective right now, it is 1245 and this is all Eastern time. Rich Richland Center, this would impact you first at 1258. So you're hearing sirens in Rochester. I am not surprised, of course, as we're seeing uh, those very strong winds pop up on our velocity mode as with our latest tornado warning for Fulton and Marshall County as the storm cell continues to push north and east. Let me zoom out again just a little bit more to kind of give you an idea. That storm cell that was uh, flagging us earlier in Laporte is weakening, but it is this one right here, of course. You can see those blue circles, for example, those blue circles, those are just the, the towns and its pathway that I just put that storm track on for you. So if you know anybody uh, just around this storm or in the path of the storm, please give them a call. If you work here, uh, if kids have school here, please make sure they are notified. But as Kristen said, Kristen Bean is joining us here as well. So we have Jessica Burns and uh, Kristen Bean joining me. Rochester heard the sirens and noticed that that cell is mainly north and west of it and it's gonna to continue to move northeast. Rochester, I would still exercise caution. Again, you do not wanna be traveling right now until this moves. Uh, we were just talking after the report uh, uh, tornado warning expired, the fact that the winds were still gonna be a huge concern, even if it wasn't radar indicated for our Southern communities. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now, but still picking up a little bit of um, some, some rotation on the radar itself as the storm cell moves north and east. So of course, some of the, if we can zoom in a little bit more or Jessica, take this storm track off again, Bourbon, Old Tip Town, Richland Center, Atwood, you're all in the path of being around that storm. But if we could zoom in just a little bit more so people could get their bearings right around tight around this cell. And you can see again, some of the areas just around 110, here's 31 north of course of 14. So that's, this is the area of concern. Again, very, very windy. I'm sure it is downpouring. We have not had any reports yet. Kristen, anything with funnel clouds, anything? No, nothing yet, um, but it's radar indicated. So I'm sure it's just very gusty wind. So even if not, it's still one of those things that you need to stay away from the windows. Uh, the trees are very susceptible to falling over. Of course, with all the water we've had and gusty winds, I'm sure that we're gonna see some tree limbs snapping. Uh, probably some of them be uprooted because of the amount of gusty winds and of course, the fact that it is so rainy out there. So let's zoom out just a little bit more, Jessica, to give everybody kind of a heads up, yes, Richland Center, you were next up on our storm track as the cell continues to move north and east. Remember, this is for Fulton County moving in to southern Marshall County. So Marshall County, you have not had the brunt of this yet. Uh, it could weaken by the time it gets there, but still with the wind speeds right now, kind of flagging that light blue that I showed you on our velocity, uh, that's, those are very strong winds. We're looking at gusty winds, 60, 70 miles per hour, coupled with heavy rain. So tornado warning 
Fulton, Marshall County until 115. It is 1248. Let's zoom out a little bit more, Jessica, just because of the amount of activity we have right now on our radar. Hard to believe it is late February and we're dealing with such severe weather. This is the storm cell in the port that has weakened a bit, but heads up South Bend. It is going to start pouring for us sooner rather than later. Uh, just looking at some bigger cities. Knox, I'm sure you're getting a good downpour right now. Winnemac, you as well. Our southern communities, you were the main areas that were flagging the blue. If you want to show the velocity mode again, Jessica, just to show... Um, Again, those strong winds, because that is going to be the biggest concern with this, with a little bit of that rotation also being possible. Uh, but it's just been south, a little bit farther, yes, where you see the blues and then mixing with the greens. This is where we, could, again, could have some pretty big issues. Uh, and that's where we're seeing, of course, that tornado warning happening. So we're going to keep an eye for, for example, Richland Center. This is going to be a problem for you. Could you put, could you flag um, the wind speeds on this? That is radar indicated 64 miles an hour. So you have to think actually experiencing it, it is stronger than that. And that's what the blues signify as we could see a little bit of rotation with this, but even if it's all coming one way, it is going to still do some damage because that is well above severe thunderstorm criteria. When our severe thunderstorm criteria is 58 miles per hour, we're already flagging 64. And that is from the radar, not actual ground reports as of yet. So let's zoom out a bit more, uh, just seeing where else we could see some pretty gusty winds. Uh, of course, we're seeing it right now in Fulton County. Uh, then it's just immediately south of our area. So our southern communities, you again, are the ones getting the brunt of the gusty winds. And then the farther north we go, although it is still going to be very heavy rain, it is not to this level. So let's go back over to the radar. And we can again just get a better bearing on uh, the amount of rain that we are talking about. I'm sure some of you, we are looking at well over an inch to two inches of rain because of these downpours. Here's the tornado warning. Here it is again for Fulton, Marshall counties. We'll stay with you until this warning is done. We are continuing to wait for any type of damage reports that we could be seeing, uh, emergency services, people calling in once the storm has passed. That was when we would really like to hear from you. So Richland Center at 1259, so we're looking at less than 10 minutes. The brunt of this will be impacting you. I'm sure it's already raining for you now, but it will probably most likely intensify over the next five, 10 minutes. Old Tip Town at 122, Warsaw at 153, uh, that we could see it just has to continue to stay pretty strong. But when we looked at temperatures, if you can find that current temperatures map, Jessica, uh, it's been the fuel as it is very mild in our southern communities and much cooler north and east. So you look at that tornado warning. I mean, we're looking at temperatures near 60 degrees in February. Now, when we start to cool off a bit, that severe threat is going to go down some. You see those low 40s, for example, but the farther southwest you are, the farther west we are. I mean, the port, that's rain cold. We don't go from 57 to 50. Uh, it's rain cold. And that's where you saw, of course, that little bit of that possibility of that tornado warning with that strong storm cell that moved through. We can go back to radar now. Uh, just because that moisture to our, or excuse me, that warmth to our south and then the farther north you are, that's where we're not too concerned again about any tornadic activity. So here it is as we look at the big picture with that tornado warning. Um, we're not seeing those, those blues or those circles like we saw um, a little bit ago over in LaPorte County when it was just a little bit stronger with the heavy rain. Uh, but still, this line, is, it's a pretty impressive one. When I just showed you, of course, those wind speeds more than 70 miles an hour. So don't take this lightly. The good news is that once this does move through, the threat will go down substantially, of course, from where we are uh, sitting right now. Any reports from anybody so far? No. No, still no reports, which... That's a good thing because hopefully that means that we're not seeing anything that we're immediately getting people calling in worried. But sit tight if you are in the path of this, of course. You can see around 31, they're, they're going to be getting hit pretty good right there. Uh, even around 10, here's Argus, just to kind of give you a better idea. Richland Center, this is what we were talking about. Within the next 10 minutes, this is kind of really hitting you pretty good. Uh, if you are going to be, of course, traveling, I would just hold off. It moves through relatively quickly. We're talking anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour, but this, you know, 10, 20 minutes of dealing with the brunt of it, it's probably going to do some damage with the winds we've seen. So let's show you the wider view. Let's even check in a little bit farther south toward Indy, because I know they've had a lot of active weather today. No watches or warning. We're kind of the only bullseye right now. Let's go over to um, Pulaski County. You see this red Right here, I just want to check in with that right there. Yes, right here. So just south of Pulaski County, I mean, along 16, 
this looks like it's gonna be a pretty healthy sell as well. There's no watches or warnings associated with it right now, but it's just things we're kind of keeping an eye on. Lakeside, I'm sure you're getting a very, very healthy thunderstorm right now with gusty winds as our southern communities have been dealing with the gusty winds practically the past hour or so. All right, let's zoom out a little bit more. I'm just trying to find some more storm cells. Um, let's check in around the South Bend area because I know that that one from Laporte was gonna be in, okay, here we go. So this was the one from LaPorte County the past hour that had the tornado warning with it. It's about to hit county lines. So New Carlisle, I'm sure that your weather is deteriorating right now. It is gonna move into far western St. Joe County sooner rather than later. Crumbstown, for example, I'm sure that your uh, weather is gonna deteriorate. Here's two. Uh, that's probably not the best place to be right now if you are driving. I'm sure a lot of people are probably pulled off to the side of the road to wait for this line to, of course, move through. But let's go back. Um, Oh, that's an old storm track for you, Jessica. Let's go back to the, to the uh, tornado warning and just see kind of what's happening right there. Okay, so take me the tornado warning and then if you could flip this over to velocity mode. So just to get your bearings again, tornado warning for Fulton and Marshall counties. This is radar indicated. It is moving northeast around 25 miles per hour. Has that been updated or is it still about 25 miles an hour? still about 25 miles per hour. So we're gonna zoom down here and there's still some blue. So that's been our biggest concern. You see the blue? So this would be radar indicated. I mean, we have it set like our, when we kind of set our parameters that it is should be on the ground if you're there around 70 miles per hour. So this is 58 miles per hour radar indicated. If you're actually experiencing it, I'm sure it's a little bit stronger. Now, the good news is when we just checked in with this, oh, about, five, 10 minutes ago, this was actually being flagged at 68 miles per hour. So we're seeing some weakening, although seeing any blue when we're looking at velocity mode, that's what this is called. It is the wind speed and direction. So when we're seeing this, this is where it could be uh, a big concern. This looked like West Olson Road. So it's just north of that, uh, that we are going to be dealing probably with, with some damage reports. I would not be surprised, even if it's just some trees down because of the fact that it is so soggy on top of very gusty winds. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Let's zoom back out, see if we can see any other areas where we're concerned about some of that bright blue. Uh, yeah, of course, along the county line. So our very Southern, our very, yes. So here it is. Yeah, just south of Lake Bruce and then just our southern communities as a whole, south of Grass Creek, they are getting uh, pretty strong winds to account for this as well. So tornado warning still, that is because we could see a little bit, the atmosphere does favor the possibility of some rotation. Now we have not had any confirmation on funnel clouds or touchdowns. They've actually had two confirmed tornadoes uh, over in Champaign, Illinois earlier this morning. Uh, for us, we still have not had anything confirmed. So let's zoom out a little bit more. Again, that would be the strongest wind for us here locally uh, underneath that tornado warning. Again, just north of West Olson Road. So if you know anybody that lives there, I would check on them once the storm system has moved through. We can flip back over then uh, to just the radar to kind of give you the big picture of everything that's going on. So Southern communities still, you are a warmer community, so you're running into more of, more of the issues because of course the warmer air fuels this. And we're talking near 60 degrees, which our Southern cities are, that's gonna fuel these storms a little bit better. Um, Richland Center, you're probably still dealing with the brunt of this. Argus heads up for you as well. You can see just this line right here, just this little polygon, that's the issue that we're dealing with. Uh, Old Tip Town around 115, Bourbon 121, Etna Green at 128, Atwood at 133, and uh, Clunet at 143. Now the thing that we're dealing with here as well is, although you're in this storm path, it may not necessarily mean that by the time it makes it to you, we are under a tornado warning, but that means I will not be on the air anymore, but I wanna give you the heads up there that even if not, if you wanna just kind of keep in the back of your mind these times, Times because this is still going to be a strong storm moving through your area, even if the warning goes away. So just keep that. Of course, if you have to head out, I know, you know, afternoon times, you're thinking about picking up the kids soon. Maybe you head into work. You need to keep in the back of your mind if you have to travel to kind of sit tight, stay down, of course, in the safe place, lowest level. If it is not, of course, a basement, lowest part of the building, of course, um, we don't want to be uh, anywhere outside or traveling in a vehicle whenever we're talking about the possibility of a tornado. As 
as it is radar indicated, we have had no storm spotters spotting any type of funnel clouds being formed, but they have been formed just off to our west over in Illinois, so the potential is there. Let's show a wider view again. So this expires at about 1.15. So we still have about 17 minutes before it would expire, if not sooner. Here comes that line again that was... Um, for our far western communities that had Laporte under the tornado warning. It is weakening some. There is still a lot of rain associated with it, still a lot of water. So I'm sure those areas where uh, it is flood prone, you're dealing with just water issues in general. So my advice to you, like we have always said, if you cannot see the road, do not travel through it. It only takes a couple inches of water to lift an entire vehicle. So that's where you get that saying, turn around, don't drown, because you will lose complete control of your vehicle. But notice how we are seeing now, for example, in our northern communities, this stronger line just passing through um, through the county line. So New Carlisle seeing some action right now. I know that Crumbstown will soon as well. And then around South Bend, um, we're seeing, well, we will start to see conditions deteriorating as well. We are getting no damage reports at least. Good news from LaPorte County Police from earlier this morning from the warning. So that's good. Of course, we never want to have any anything major, but that tornado warning, we're not getting any major reports from LaPorte. The farther south we go, we're still under that tornado warning. Let's zoom back out, Jessica, and take us back down to Fulton and Marshall counties where that warning is still in place. You can see lots of thunder and lightning, of course. That's what those lightning bolts are. This is truly a severe thunderstorm warning with the possibility of a tornado coming from it as well. And the deeper the shades of red, that would be the heavier rain as well. Uh, I'm sure that we're going to be dealing with a lot of water after this, some tree limbs snapped too. So if, of course, I'm sure schools have been aware of this. We had a uh, viewer call in earlier that Rochester was hearing the sirens. Here's Rochester, just to give you perspective. And the main activity of this was just to its north and west. So although Rochester currently is not feeling the brunt of it, the sirens there were already heard, of course, which is, of course, what you want to be able to do whenever a situation like this. Any way you can get that information out to a large number of people, the better. So let's go ahead and stop moving the radar, Jessica, and then just put another storm track on it. That may help kind of give everybody, you can see like these deeper shades of red exactly where she just storm tracked it. So Bourbon at 124 and Etna Green at 131. This, uh, again, we haven't had any history from the Laporte one that there was any major damage associated, but it's a little bit warmer in our Southern community. So I could fuel this a little bit more. And again, these have stronger winds associated with it than it did in Laporte County. So great news so far, no big damage reports coming from Laporte County Sheriff from the, uh, the tornado warning from about Oh, an hour ago, but this one right here, we have still have to keep an eye on. Are we getting any updates, Kristen, Jessica? No. Wind and, wind and rain. Those are the updates we're getting from Fulton and Marshall County. Wind and rain. And as we showed you, of course, on that velocity mode, which shows wind speed and direction, wind was a big concern where we saw those blues. So this is the latest storm track moving north and east. Bourbon, a heads up for you. Even if it's not that strength, I'm sure wind and rain will still be a very big concern. Uh, this tornado warning expires at 115. To give you perspective, it is 101. Uh, Jessica, let's go back over and see if these winds over on our velocity mode have weakened at all since the last time we checked in. So remember about 20 minutes ago, we were flagging winds radar indicated at 68 miles an hour. And then about 10 minutes ago, the winds were about 58 miles an hour. And some great news, great news for you. I'm only seeing at best a little bit of light blue. And that means that the winds are starting to die down a bit. I'm sure it's still very gusty, uh, but we could still see a little bit of rotation where you see some green and red together. But yes, um, could still see some isolated strong wind gusts, but about 20 minutes ago, there was a lot of light blue inside this tornado warning box, and that has since really died down with each passing minute. So that's great news. If we go a little bit farther south just to see where those gusty winds are, and you can see it right here, where you see, of course, all of that bright blue, which is just for the most part, I mean, it's gonna be Southern Pulaski, Fulton mm -hmm. County. I'm sure we're gonna get some reports of some, some damage there with some winds, even if it's just trees. I know that uh, we're still dealing with the fact that it's rain plus wind and those roots in the trees can pretty much 
be pulled out pretty easy, knocking the trees over. So those are our gusty winds. We zoom back out where that warning is though, we're not seeing as much because these are stronger winds. This earlier was strong winds, the blue, with the possibility of some rotation and we're not seeing as strong of winds there as well. So great news there, still a tornado warning, still need to stay in your safe place. Uh, of course, down in the lowest level of your building, the kids need to have their tornado uh, safety protocols, of course, in place, all of those at school. I know that's not always the best feeling whenever you have a, a whole school full of children, but hopefully I'm sure they've gone over these routines more times than enough. I know my children do all the time that they know what to do in a situation like this. And until this warning is gone, we're staying with you for reasons like that. We're not all home. This is a prime time when you're at work, when kids are at school, that we need to make sure that we stay with you just to, of course, keep you informed to keep everybody safe. But yes, you can see right here, tornado warning Fulton and Marshall counties until 115 and it is 103. Let's go back over to the radar and kind of just get a big picture again. So again, the bright blues are south. That's still very gusty winds radar indicated. Let's kind of zoom out a bit and we can get our bearings a little bit more. Jessica, there it is. Okay. So Richland Center is still seeing some pretty heavy rain. Um, Oh wow, just uh, Bruce Lake Station. We're gonna see some heavy rain and wind there as well. Let's zoom into where this little lightning bolt cluster is and put a storm track right here, Jessica. If you can see where my finger is, just to move that north and east at about 25 uh, because that looks like that's probably a pretty healthy part of the storm as well. So we can see what's going on with that one. There we go. All right, so yes, Richland Center, You've kind of been the name I've been calling out a lot. So if it's heavy rain and gusty winds, uh, that's going to be an issue. Old Tip Town is another one. Bourbon is another one. So as this cell continues to move north and east, we'll keep an eye on that as well. Kristen, are you getting any reports? Um, somebody in Lighters Ford said just heavy wind. Heavy wind in Lighters Ford? Okay, so we're getting a report there. Uh, again, we don't expect you to report when it's happening. We want you to stay safe. We can deal with all of this after the fact. Uh, Jessica, are you seeing anything from the National Weather Service? No. No, they're just still just holding. Okay, so let's widen this view one more time. Because although this is where the warning is, I know that some of our big cities, you're also going to start getting some pretty heavy rain. Uh, I know moving into, well, let's, there we go. Yep, so Walkerton, uh, far western St. Joe County, we have some storms that are getting ready to roll through the area as well. But none of these are warned, so there is some good news there. And also St. Joe County, you're not under a tornado watch, so this line of storms that comes through, uh, there's no watches or warnings with them associated, but I know that it is coming with very heavy rain. We've had reports of just downpours, of course, with gusty winds, and we'll keep you posted, but South Bend area, your conditions will deteriorate sooner rather than later. Walkerton, I'm sure you're getting a, a pretty good downpour right now. Plymouth, it's kind of hit or miss, and I know some of you, for example, like over in Elkhart County, it's pretty pretty quiet right now, but we will see all of this start to move. If you want to put it into motion, Jessica, we can kind of show just the movement of all of these storms. Did that tornado warning just expire? Because um, I don't see the box here anymore. Could you take me to the watches and warnings? I just want to make sure before I get off the air uh, that this tornado warning has expired. because I, I see the box gone, so that's why I just want to make sure. Yep. Yes, all right, so that's great news. Again, the tornado warning has expired. We still are under a tornado watch, at least some of our counties, until 4 o'clock. That'd be our western community, so we will, of course, be standing by. We'll jump back in, but as of right now, we're going to take you back to programming.